As the suspect was hanging over the bridge, he repeatedly stated to us, let me go, I want to die. The number two is falling off the bridge. We open News 5 at 10 this Saturday with breaking news. The city of Fountain has confirmed Officer Julian Becerra has died. He was gravely injured in a fall on February the 2nd while attempting to arrest a suspect. News 5's Devin Karp joins us live outside of Penrose Hospital tonight where several law enforcement officers have arrived. Devin. Andy, we've seen officers from different offices across from the Pikes Peak region. Lots of supporters are here today as we begin the procession, including this one man standing behind me waving a thin blue line flag. It's customary in line of duty deaths for officers to accompany the body of a fallen officer throughout their funeral process. Officer Becerra was a canine officer with the Fountain Police Department where he has worked for the past four and a half years. He had previously worked for the El Paso County Sheriff's Office from 2014 to 2018. He was an Air Force veteran who leaves behind a wife and two young children. The Fountain PD confirmed last week that his canine is well and was with Becerra's family while he was in the hospital. The city of Fountain tonight has announced that his family is requesting privacy while they navigate the difficult task of planning for Julian's final rest. The procession is soon to be going underway as we are seeing police vehicles line up across the street and we will keep you continued as well as updated on their efforts. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Devin Karp live with News 5. Devin, thanks so much. Other law enforcement agencies in our area are mourning the loss of Officer Becerra. Colorado Springs Police Chief Adrian Vasquez released a statement tonight offering his condolences to Officer Becerra's family, friends, and the Fountain community. Vasquez said, quote, I offer my heartfelt thanks to Officer Becerra for the selfless service he provided with incredible distinction and honor. Vasquez added, the men and women of CSPD are standing beside their fellow officers at Fountain PD. The VFW post in Fountain held a fundraiser just last night for Officer Becerra and his family. The post commander told us that they exceeded their goal of raising $3,000. The post holds a steak dinner every second Friday of the month, and they decided last night to honor Officer Becerra and his family with their dinner. There are other ways to support the Becerra family during this difficult time. A fundraiser is being hosted through the Southern Colorado Law Enforcement Foundation. His family has also set up a GoFundMe to help cover unexpected expenses. At last check, they have raised over their goal of $100,000, and we do have links to both of those fundraisers on our website at koaa.com.